Good morning, everyone. It's the 49ers bye week, so instead of commuting down to Santa Clara, I'm sitting in my living room, on my couch, underneath my painting that I got from Marshalls, drinking some coffee. Wearing my 49ers quality control jacket, and I'm in quality control mode because in the bye week, it's all about self-scouting. And even though the 49ers don't pay me to work for them, I do the work anyway. So it's time to figure out why the 49ers are two and three and how they can be better. I think a great place to start the self-scouting process is on offense with the running game. The 49ers, through five games, are averaging just 4.2 yards per carry. That's shockingly low for a team that ran through and over the NFL just two years ago. Two years ago, the Niners averaged 4.6 yards per carry when they went to the Super Bowl. The year before that, 4.5. This 4.2 is the lowest they've had since 2017, Shanahan's first year here, when he had Carlos Hyde on the team. So why is the running game underperforming? Let's go through it. Is it the running back's fault? They don't have Raheem Mostert. Raheem Mostert was a phenomenal running back, one healthy. So that hurts. But... You know, Raheem Mostert wasn't a huge part of the running game in 2018 when they averaged 4.5 yards per carry. That was back when they had Matt Breida and Alfred Morris carrying the ball most of the time. So this year they have Elijah Mitchell, who's no worse than Matt Breida, and Trey Sermon, who I like. is He's a lot better than Tevin Coleman and Jarek McKinnon ever were. So I don't think it's the running backs. Is it the blockers? Well, I mean, it's the same blockers. Kittle's still here, Juszczyk's still here, McGlinchey's still here, Brunskill's still here, Tomlinson's still here, Alex Mack, he's an upgrade over Ben Garland. He may not be as good as Weston Richburg was a few years ago, but it's not that different. And then at left tackle, Trent Williams, he's better than Joe Staley. God love Joe Staley. So hard to say it's the blocking. Is it the quarterbacks? I mean, maybe Jimmy Garoppolo's inability to throw the ball down the field hurts, it, hurts the running game, but they were quite effective with him at quarterback just a few years ago. I, they ran at will with him at quarterback in 2019. And then Trey Lance, he's averaging almost five yards a carry. So the more he plays, the more the running game should improve. But really, it seems like Lance's best run and, and the offense's best running play is when Kyle Shanahan calls a pass and Trey Lance scrambles. That's like 11 yards a pop, it feels like. Everything else feels like a grind. So what's the deal? Feels like the league is caught up to Kyle Shanahan's scheme. Like in 2018 and 2019, there were no answers for it. Now it seems like every team has the same front. They play five or six guys on the defensive line and basically just dare the 49ers to come out passing. And that's what they did against the Cardinals. They passed and passed and passed and scrambled and scrambled and scrambled and Trey Lance got hurt. Seems like Kyle Shanahan still hasn't found the answer to the, to the answer that defensive coaches have presented for his offense. It seems like the 49ers' issues right now are schematic in the run game. And Kyle Shanahan now has two weeks to put on his genius cap and find some solutions. Find a, a different way to run the ball because just giving up on the running game and trying to answer with the passing game gives up on your identity. If you had a quarterback you trusted like, you know, Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes, maybe you could just become a pass first offense and get the defenses to back off but you never had an opportunity to get those quarterbacks or well you did have an opportunity but you didn't want them you got Trey Lance who you don't trust throwing the ball and Jimmy Garoppolo who you don't trust throwing the ball so that means defenses are going to load up and take away your run game until you find a quarterback you trust or a run play that works so on you Kyle what you got you got two weeks